so glad that you found us for another Cephable tutorial. I'm Julia, and today I'm going to talk to you about virtual buttons. I hope you're already loving your desktop app and that you found your way to downloading the companion app onto your tablet or your phone. If not, check out those tutorials that will help you get to that point. You need your computer, you need your tablet or your phone, and you need both of those things installed for us to get started with virtual buttons. So what are virtual buttons anyway? These are shortcut buttons that you create and customize that are connected to keyboard buttons or mouse clicks. It could even be a combination of keystrokes put into one virtual button. So what you're seeing here on my screen is the desktop app, as you're familiar with. And over on the left side of my screen, I brought my iPad with me today, and you can see mirrored on the side the same thing on your screen. So let's get started seeing virtual buttons in action, and then I will take you through how you can get started with them on your own. So I have pulled up some virtual buttons, as I showed you before, and a website on YouTube that we're going to use the commands that you see on the side, full screen, closed captions, play, stop, and mute. While we watch a YouTube video, I chose one of our founder, Alex Dunn, that he recently did. So let's make sure that we're clicked into our window. That video is going to start. And we're going to use our commands here. So we can pause. You know what? Let's even go full screen and maybe start the closed captions and we'll play again. Research Foundation or CPAR. I'm your host. Dr. Maybe you want to mute. And this season. All right. And we'll exit that full screen and come back here. Now let's see how you can get started getting them set up on your app. So we are back here on the home screen of the desktop app and mirrored here you can see my iPad here on the left side of the screen, also known as the companion app. So as I want to point out that you can see connected, so the companion app is connected over here to my virtual, um, to my desktop app. So in order to get you started with the virtual buttons, I want to point out, we're gonna go into our demo YouTube profile, and first we're gonna just scroll down and see what's inside. It's really important to know that virtual buttons are connected to voice commands. So in order to have a virtual button, you must have voice commands within that profile. So as you can see, the four virtual buttons that we had in that demo are located here as voice commands. Save full screen, Cephable will press F, and the same for these. They include all of the keyboard shortcuts that are associated with that command. So let's head on back up. We're going to go into View Advanced Options. And down here, you can click into Edit Virtual Buttons. And here's where you would add a new virtual button. They've already been added here, but you could simply click Add a New Virtual Button and then fill in these blanks. So full screen, you could change that if you wanted to make it say bigger for your virtual button. The command value would still be full screen because this is what matches the voice command within that profile. But the name on that button that would show up on your companion app would then say something different. So just for the sake of consistency, we're gonna leave them the same. So let's hit save and we'll actually go in one more time and let's add a button just so you can see the process. So the first thing that we need to do is add a new voice control because we would like a virtual button. So we're going to make a virtual button and a voice control for search. And so the keyboard shortcut for search in YouTube is actually, let's see if I can find it, is the slash. So whenever we have the voice command of search, we're gonna hit that slash and we're gonna hit finish. We're gonna hit save. 
Let's make sure that it's there. When we say search, we're going to press the backslash. We're going to hit save and then we're going to go back into editing, view advanced options, edit virtual buttons, and we're going to add a new virtual button called search. And that will simply bring your cursor to the search bar in YouTube. And that's connected to the voice command value of search. And then you hit save. And then it will show up on your screen within your, um, your app, your companion app. We are back here on the home screen of the companion app and of the desktop app. We're going to put our attention over here on the companion app because we just added a virtual button and we want to see it over here in action. So we're going to actually scroll down on our companion app and we are going to hit start virtual buttons and then you'll be able to see that new virtual button that we now have on our companion app ready to use to open up that YouTube video and be able to have a new control. Now that you know what virtual buttons are, you know how to create them, you know how to use them, maybe you're still wondering how they could be useful. So virtual buttons can help reduce the number of visual choices or just visual overload in general on web pages or in apps. They can also provide an alternative way for individuals to press buttons when the keyboard and the mouse doesn't support their dexterity or their mobility needs. I've also found that sometimes propping up the tablet or the phone in another orientation can be really helpful for somebody to point this way versus moving their hands down. Virtual buttons are also helpful so that you can hit one key that would sometimes be a combination of keys on the keyboard. For example, you could have a virtual button that says copy. That would be like pressing the command C or control C on your keyboard to hit copy. And also virtual buttons can give us access to the commands that we use the most often in one place or things that you do repetitively. I hope that you found this helpful and don't forget to join us in our community channels to connect with us, to connect with other members of the community. And we have many other tutorials to support your learning and your growth and your connection with the Cephable app. Thanks for watching.